maybe you've had a little problem with your smartphone, left it out in the rain, it got wet in the bathtub or something like that. Well, Gore can help you. Chuck Seiple's with Gore, and uh, you could be the savior <laughs> for a lot of people, Chuck. So uh, uh, the pressure's on. A product specialist with Gore. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. Tell me about Gore, uh, about your core mission uh, and, and what you see as the company's focus. Yeah, well, Gore is um, an engineering company. And we were here last year talking about uh, our different businesses that support the telecommunications industry. Um, but we also were talking about our message of, as an engineering company, we don't just uh, sell the materials, we also partner with the OEMs to try and support their applications and help design our events for the optimum solution for these uh, partners of ours. And um, as a uh, significant presence in the telecommunications industry, we're always trying to kind of monitor the trends in the industry to determine uh, what our new application needs and help provide focus for R&D efforts. Okay. So tell me about uh, your presence here at the show. Like I said, you are here last year, yeah. we met last year, it looked like you were having a great time in the booth, it was a great demonstration, <laughs> you know, with the shower and all that, but what brought you back? So we were really excited um, to try and learn more and talk about this uh, industry trend of waterproofing and how it's really being separated from ruggedization. In the past, if you wanted a waterproof phone, it also was a ruggedized phone that was big and bulky and really inconvenient to use. But we're definitely seeing a trend now where people are separating waterproofing away from ruggedization. So if you see examples of uh, the Sony Xperia Z, that's very popular right now, or there's a lot of rumor around the Galaxy S4 Active. Uh, so phones are being introduced into the market that um, are thin, lightweight, attractively designed, some of the most complex smartphones in the world, but now they're waterproofed to be able to be immersed in up to three feet of water without, uh, without any damage. All right, so give me some examples now. I know you talked about trends yeah, yeah, a yeah. little bit. Now, what are you doing to address that? I think you've kind of uh, uh, hinted toward that a little bit about, you know, I can't imagine dropping it <laughs> that deep in water and being okay with it. Yeah, so Gore portable electronic vents are um, materials that are set up to protect the acoustic openings in phones. So your speaker, microphone, uh, receiver areas that the phone has to be open in order to transmit sound. And the Gore vents uh, sit in these openings, protect the device from water, dust, dirt, any kind of liquid, uh, but at the same time, you're able to maintain this high acoustic performance that you need for the microphone and receiver. Um, and uh, <clears throat> you're able to do that in the original design of the device. We partner with the OEMs early in the design stage to incorporate these vents into their products so it, you don't have to compromise the look or feel of the device. Many customers today are, are paying $60, $70, $80 to buy a waterproof case because they recognize they need to protect this investment, but uh, that compromises the look and feel of the original device, and we want to be able to do that in a sleek uh, design like the uh, OEMs intended. We want our cake, we want to eat it too, right? <laughs> That's, right. That's exactly That's right. what we want. So, so looking down the road then, I mean, mm -hmm. I mean how, how does this iterate? You know, wh where, where do you take it from here? Because uh, devices change, forms change. Right. You've got a lot of work to keep up with. Yes, so we um, have a staff of application engineers that work globally to partnering with the OEMs, trying to understand what their current needs are, helping them to integrate our parts into their devices. Um, obviously, spatial constraints are a big deal for all these flagship devices out there, so we have to maintain that acoustic performance, provide the, the increasing level of protection that the OEMs want, and at the same time, make sure we fit into these tight, compact designs. Um, and so we're constantly trying to work with the industry, stay on top of the industry trends to um, make sure that our vents are able to be integrated into their devices in the best way possible. Well, I know you've saved a lot of people, a lot of headache, and there are probably a lot of headaches still to be saved. So uh, congratulations on a job well done, and certainly good luck down the road as well. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you, it. Pleasure.